What's up guys, welcome back to All Games Mindset. And today we're going to talk about approach anxiety. So let's get into it. All right guys, welcome back to All Games Mindset. We talk about fitness, health, dating, nutrition, all that kind of stuff. So today we're gonna to talk about approach anxiety. And I brought our good friend Joe here. What's going on guys? And the reason for this is not only because he's a great friend, but because he does what I do. And the topic for this video requires another perspective of insight, which Joe is really good at offering me and offering mm -hmm. us and offering you guys as well. So we're gonna talk about approach anxiety, the details of it, how you can overcome it, tips on how to navigate the sexual marketplace as it is today. And with that, right. so what do you think the biggest problem is, right, with approach anxiety? Why do guys not, why, why are we so afraid to, as, a sing, as single men, why are we afraid, so afraid to approach women? I think the first thing is, um, most guys are not used to that, especially nowadays, you know, when it's so easy to do it um, through other ways, you know. You can text, you can go on, on social media, different things. And if you're not doing it often, um, you don't have that mentality. You don't know how to, uh, you don't have that experience yet. So I think once you start approaching, it's not going to get, you know, you're not going to be at one point perfect, but you'll get better, definitely. So most people, what they do, like, automatically is they already have this negative reinforcement about themselves. They're already in this pessimistic view about themselves, right? right. So they don't even have they, have, they have this lack of confidence to even do it in the first place. So if you're a single guy and you're at a store, or you're at the beach, or you're at anywhere really where there's attractive women, and you see one in particular that's sort of your type, mm -hmm. and most of the time you're very afraid to even go say hi. The reason for this is because you already have this viewpoint that you might not be good enough. You already have this viewpoint that it's not gonna work. You already have this negative attitude towards it. You have this pessimism. Right. And all those is just excuses because you're scared. Because you're not used to that. You know, you're thinking of all the possible outcomes, and you just have to just ignore those, because you're going to keep thinking, and then that's how you get into backing down and not doing it. Exactly. And then you're going to feel way worse, because there's nothing, else, there's nothing worse than having regrets, you know? So just think about that. That's, for example, what I do is I like to, I like to say things like, um, no regrets. That's all, like, no regrets, no regrets, and then that's how you jump in. Yeah, guys, the biggest yeah. risk of all is not taking one, right? So right. if you, let's say you're out somewhere and you see an attractive female, right, and you're, mm -hmm. you're a guy, and you really want to say something, but instead of doing that, instead of actually going for it and being bold, you sit in the back, you look at her from a distance, and you stare at her, and hopefully mm -hmm. she doesn't look at you being a creep, and then you walk on for your day, and then the whole day you're thinking, wow, I really kind of wish yeah. I, I would have done that, you know? Even though you may not want to admit it to your friends, you mm -hmm. still have that thought, like, I really should have done that, but I was, I was a bitch. I couldn't right. do it. And the longer you're there, just in the background, not making your move, the worse it's going to get. So yeah. I think, you know, you have to plan it for a little bit and then just go straight at it. Because the moment you just, you know, stay there, you want to start thinking about it, again, you're not going to do it. Yeah, we don't even... You know, the, the more chances that you miss, you know, you never know what could happen, right? You never know about the outcome. You, you already assume in mm -hmm. your mind that the outcome is, oh, she's going to reject me. She's not going to like me. How could she even, you know, and maybe you go out and you're not dressed for success. You're not feeling good right. Right, with what you're wearing, how you're feeling that day. Maybe you don't take care of yourself. Or your haircut's not on point. Like, there's a lot of factors that limit your confidence. So what we like to do is <clears throat> if we're going out somewhere and we know that there might be attractive Females, right? We're going to try mm -hmm. to look our best, even though we look, want to look our best, not just for that, just in general, because we always want to be presentable. But we always want to t we take care of ourselves, right? right. So we, and we always want to look our best, no matter where we go, right? Because mm -hmm. once you do that, you're, you're taking action. You know, you just show up to the place. You're not, you're not just showing up. You've been planning this already. You know, you already did everything you had to do. So you already like have that feeling like, yeah, I already, I already know what this is. I already planned it out. So it gives you more confidence. You know that, you know the looks does matter, but I think the action behind, like, okay, I'm taking care of myself, just gives you that that extra confidence to approach. We have this thing in the back of our mind that we have to be perfect, right? Right. And it needs to be the perfect interaction. It needs to go mm -hmm. smoothly. So a lot of times we talk ourselves out of it right. because we don't want to actually go for what we want. We sort of make up a bunch of excuses in our mind. We we envision that it must be the perfect time the perfect place the perfect moment to strike and if that moment passes right. then we're doomed there's, there's no point and sometimes with all this uh information out there all these videos you see all the perfect interactions everything like that and i think that in your background makes you think that you have to do it perfect 
you know what I mean? But the thing is, you're never going to be perfect. It's, you might stutter a little bit. You might look away for like one second. It might not be perfect, but you did it. And that's that's perfect to me, just doing it. You yeah. know? And then, of course, you want to, you know, get the uh, the rewards from it. But just doing it itself is something that you have to consider, you know, something that you have to value. Yeah, it's really important. Doing the action alone will already save you a bunch mm-hmm. of, like, negative thoughts and everything. Right. It's just the fact that that you go for it, you know. Most guys simply do not have the balls, especially, like, someone you don't know. Like, if you're in a social circle and, like, you have friends of friends, it's a lot more easier to, like, ask a, a girl out or something. But if you're on the street or something or you're in a grocery store or you're at the gym even, like, mm-hmm. you're going to create all these excuses into your mind about why you should not do it. Instead, you need to think about why you should. And right. then you need to flip the script pretty much. Stop trying to be perfect. Stop trying to have this perfect interaction because nothing is going to go completely smooth as you plan. Sometimes, mm-hmm. depending on your circumstances, you could figure out, you could say anything, right? Plus, I was going to say too on that aspect. I mean, think about it. If you had a perfect interaction, to me that would seem boring. You know what I mean? Because if you approach somebody and the one thing that you think that was not perfect, they're going to remember that and that's what makes it perfect because let's say you stutter but you do it in a fun way, like it's funny. They're gonna remember that, and that's what makes the thing. That's what makes you human in a way. So like, don't worry about being the the perfect person in interaction because that's just boring. Yeah, we all think we have to memorize these pickup lines and yeah. oh, I got to have to say this and this. But honestly, you could do something extremely simple and say, "Hey, how are you?" Yeah, right. Just start like that. You know, it could be you can start with something goofy. You can whatever that you want to do. You know what I mean? You know. You just don't let just don't let your other thoughts just take over because that's just your fear and that's that's natural in a way, but don't let it overtake you. Yeah, if you really like if you really see a, a girl that you want to say hi to, you know, you don't have to think about it too hard and talk yourself out of her. What you could do is you could simply go, Hey, I just noticed you and I just wanted to say hi. That's mm-hmm. all you have to do. Or you say, Hey, how's it going? How's your day going? Just anything, you know. You could light, sweet to the point. Right. And you could also, you know, you could do different ap- types of approaches. So you could do like indirect versus a direct. So like you can go up and just immediately be bold and be like, I just had to let you know, I just think you're extremely cute. What's your name? Just go right into it. I already have her know that you're already sexually interested in mm-hmm. some type of way. So to just be direct with it. Or you can go more of an indirect route. I don't like personally. I'd rather do direct. But you can do like do interact, uh, indirect. So you go. Up, you can just go up to a girl you think is attractive and be like, you know, simply, hey, how are you? How's your day going? And just see where the conversation goes from there. See if she's maybe... She might be in a really good mood or, you know, it, it could be great circumstances. You never know what the conversation could lead to. Maybe you're both at a gym and you're doing chest day and she's doing arm day. Like, wow. You know, you can just make up something with that. Right. You know, like depending on your circumstances or where you are, you can make casual conversation. And then eventually it would lead to you ha- being bold enough to try to get her number, get her, maybe Instagram, anything really. Get into further contact with her, you know, because every approach, every thing is about escalation. It's all about progression. Mm-hmm. So obviously you want to get to the point where you get her number or Snapchat or whatever you want. I, I think, think you know it's best to get the number, but right. I think that either way, the the objective should be to make the setting comfortable, you know, and you can do it whatever way makes you feel more comfortable. Meaning that if you want to like, you know, be direct about it and and tell it like, okay, you look fine, you're attractive, like be straight up about it. That's fine. Or you can also be like, hey, how are you? Where are you from? Like, you come here often. But I think the key here is the approach, making the setting comfortable, and going for the number or anything that you can reach out later on. Because once you, like, ask for the number or whatever, social media, then you're, let, you know, you're letting them know that, okay, you know, I'm interested. That right there, you know, cuts out the whole game. Like, yeah, this is what I'm about. And then if you go from there, then that's it. Yeah. But I think you should just make the whole thing comfortable, and you do that by, by just letting it like be natural. You know, don't overthink it too much. Yeah, and yeah. you could even have fun with it. So, like, let's say if you're at a bar or something, you could easily just go up to a girl. You know, no matter who she's with, you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. If you feel like she's your type, and you just got to do it, you could easily go up and say, "Hey, uh, have we met before?" Just like anything, right? Yeah. Let it let it come natural. Yeah. Let it let it see where it flows, and have fun with it too. You don't got to be all like. Hey, have have we met before? Like you don't have to be like that, you know. Just have fun with it, you know. Mm-hmm. You want to be smooth with it. You don't want to have that look on your face like you're extremely scared and just like, uh. Right, right. You want to sort of like just be natural in it. And this takes practice, guys. You can't just go up to a girl on the first time. Oh, I'm gonna get her number here. Yeah. Like 
you know, you should assume success, but at the same time, be prepared for anything, right? right. So you have to understand that if you go into this, you know, you're going to get rejected a lot, but that's what makes it good because you get to learn from your experiences. Mm -hmm. You get to learn from your failures. You have to understand that you're going to get a lot of rejection, right. but with rejection comes success in your mind and in the world. So, because I think what people are valuing more is uh, the outcome, getting the number and, and, and trying to get laid, you know, let's be honest here. But I think the, the thing that should be worked on more is being social. You can talk to anybody like this. You know, that's how you open doors. Opportunity comes. You know, that's the main thing you should be focused. How to be better socially. Like, you don't just have to approach girls. You can, like, you know, go go uh, go for a couple and just start socializing. Because a lot of people won't do that. You know, they won't go with a girl who has, like, a guy right next to her. But if you go in, let's say, for example, you're like, hey, are you, you know, what's going on, guys? And then you just talk to them. Turns out you can, like, meet somebody new. You know, he can be a, a good friend. Or, like, they can, like, hook you up with other people. Yeah, you never know what could you happen. Know, like, Let's say you go to a group of people, and, you know, once again, you can make the excuse for yourself, saying, oh, well, they're not going to like me. Or what you could do is you could use it to your advantage. So right. go, go up to a group of people. Let's say there are guys and girls at a bar or something, right? You go in. You make friends with the guys, mm -hmm. too. And maybe, and if, you like, you really get along with them, hey, one of the guys might even help you out. Right. You know, like, hey, are you single? Oh, no, but she is, though. Like, they might even yeah. help you out if you really make good friends mm -hmm. with them. Like, you never know what the opportunity of life can bring you. That's why you need to just be bold and go for it anyway, because it doesn't matter. What you mm -hmm. need to be concerned with is at least going for it in the first place. And it takes practice, so you need to do it again and again and again and keep going through it. And the more you do mm -hmm. it, the more easier it becomes. You understand, you learn naturally. You're going to learn social cues, and you can learn body language. You can learn all this stuff just by going in, being bold, and taking the action itself. Right, exactly. You get used to being uncomfortable. That's all it is. You know, you get used to it. And then, yeah, you got to get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Right. And that's the thing, you know, we live, we live too comfortable sometimes, you know. We think that we have so many easier options. You don't even have to, like, you know, go to bars or go some places. Now you can just do it online. Yeah. But I think... That's a buffer. Right. I think I, you'll find it more beneficial if you go, I think, that the more challenging route, which is to talk to people. Yeah, it's basically a cheat code because online, you know, it's you can easily escape anybody online, right? You can you can choose who do you mm -hmm. answer, but when someone's in your face, you're sort of like it's going down, or you know. You can lie about it online. You can have all these pictures and you can have a great bio, whatever, but they don't really know who you are. But if you go in person, just by how you your body language, how you your mannerism, your your tonality, they'll get to know an idea of who you are. So I think that's safer than, you know, looking at it through a screen. You don't know what's going on. Yeah, you don't have to risk being catfish, right? right? You could just you, you know who they are right up front. You see what they look like and you see right. like the Save dynamics. yourself some time. Yeah, exactly. You can like go let's go you, you go on dating apps or social media and you see a girl, she has great pictures. But you don't know she has some B P D, she's bipolar or something. At least if you approach that girl in person and you see her you know for a fact, okay, something's oh, off. No. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Save yourself some time, you know, and, and some money, which you, sh you should not be spending on first dates. But, back, you know, back to the main point is you're safer knowing straight up how a person is by just talking to them. Exactly. You can waste a lot of time just by, like, I mean, online dating is good for some things, but at the same time, like, you know, you wait hours for her to respond, and there's this anxiety that comes with it, and then there's like, oh, I gotta text her back. When should mm -hmm. I text her back? Blah, 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 blah. Worrying about all this stuff on the phone. But in person, you go in, maybe like a five minute conversation, you're out. Boom, right. there it is. Either she's into you or she's not. So yeah. it's also kind of a time saver as well. And you get to choose. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's hard, you know, going for the for the girls that you want for, but you get to choose here. It's not like you know. All exactly. Ways, There's no swipe left, swipe right. There's exactly. a, I'm going up to. I'm going to say something right now. Right. There's no. The only thing stopping you is your own mind. Is yourself. Mm -hmm. There's also a physical component to all this stuff. So I think we're living in an age, personally, where like guys are having lower testosterone levels, right. and it, it is affecting their mood and their will to even go out and meet women. Because first of all, let's be honest here, porn mm -hmm. is is extremely high right now. Everybody's watching it. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's studies showing that you know men, you know. Uh, Back in the day, you have more testosterone than what we have right now. Yeah. Go on any video on like Pornhub, like videos or whatever those websites are. Go look at the view count of these right. videos. Go on any video. It has like millions of views. Automatically, any video. You know how much it takes to get millions of views on YouTube? A lot. But on these porn mm. videos, easy to get millions of views because everybody's watching it. Everybody's yeah. sedating themselves. It's a social thing. You know, now everybody knows about simping. Yeah, everybody knows what it's... the word simp means. They know... 
They know all these all these new words that are coming out and everything that people use to describe others. And this is technically no better time to go cold approaching because no one is doing it. Right. You are automatically an outlier. Having the balls to go up to a group of girls or one girl and to mm. say something wacky and actually put yourself out there, that takes guts. It takes skill. It takes right. a certain amount of social acuity that you need to develop over time. Something that most people won't do. Everybody uses online dating. Everybody watches porn. Everybody's doing all this, but no one's going out to some to a complete stranger they think is attractive, mm. saying, "Hey, well, at least most how you doing?" People are not, yeah, you know, and it, that's kind of it's sad to be honest because you don't get to learn from other people if they're not doing it. So you you most likely it's only a handful of people you're learning from, if not, and so you have to figure it out by yourself, you know. Or, um, I mean, you could find it somewhere else, but it, it's hard if not everybody's doing it around you. So you don't get an actual example, life example. Yeah, like but you can go on the internet. You, have to do. you can go on the internet and see mm-hmm. all these guys doing whatever, but you don't remember. You have to understand. You only see what they want you to see as well. Exactly. So there's always that. You don't really. Know. I don't see a lot of people showing rejection, which is what happens most of the time. Yeah. But there's also a lot of success. Don't get me wrong. Of course, and we both had our sh- right. our share of successes in real life. But there's also a lot of failure that comes with that. But the best thing about failure is that you learn from it, and that's what it's all about. Not only do you understand female nature and understand all the social cues that go with it, you also learn about yourself mm-hmm. in the process. You understand what you can handle, what your type of girl is, what you're willing to put up with, what you're willing to say, how far you're willing to go, your confidence levels, all these kind of things. You, you learn about yourself see, right? you as you do more. You get to see what, what you need to improve. Yeah. You know? there's, in, there's no other way to know what, what ways to improve <clears throat> than by going straight on to your fears. You know, there's a reason why you have approach anxiety. You know, you may not want to address it, but once you start doing it, there's no other option. You're like, okay, I, I get it now. It's because of my stutter. It's because of my eye contact. So at least you have a, a way of knowing, you know, what you can improve on. Yeah, and there's a lot of things in the physical aspect that also get in the way. Mm-hmm. You know, there's high cortisol levels. Everybody's always stressed out all the time. Right. So people are not even in the mood to do this kind of thing. Where You know, even if they were... You know, they always stress off from their jobs or they're not getting enough sleep at night. Mm -hmm. So those things also play a fact. Like your well-being plays a fact in in, in how or if you will make a move, if you'll actually have the confidence to go say hi to someone. I think naturally if if you want to have higher levels of testosterone and just be more social, more outgoing, you have to be physically active. You know, you have to work out. You have to go out for walks. You know, you have to um, play sports. Do something that keeps you active through most of the day. You know, stand up if you're in the office. Stand up, go for walks around the you know around the office. Try to always stay moving, and you'll see that you feel you know a lot better than being sedentary all day. You know, just laying down. Exactly. So, Whenever you go places, you also want to you know you want to be your best self at all times, at least the best of your ability. So if you're going out places with your friends, look the part. You right. know, dress for success as well as look. Take care of your hygiene, which, I mean, this should not have to be said. But I know people in my own life who do not take care of themselves at all. Right. Some people, like, don't brush their teeth, you know, before they go out. That's not good. You know, they're not grooming, having the proper grooming. You know, they're not getting haircuts. They're just letting themselves run a mess, right? right? Facials, facial hairs all over the place. They don't, they don't take care of themselves. They go out looking like bums all the time, you know? And so and Either they do it because they have no awareness or because they're just straight up lazy. And they just don't care, mm-hmm. you know. But if you go out looking like and feeling like success, right, you go out, you dress well, right, you brush your teeth before you go out, you have that nice morning coffee, right, you do all these little things that make yourself feel better, right. right? So you're if you're, You already worked yeah. out, you did what you had to do, you know, you took care of your, your uh, responsibilities. Yeah. So you're already in a place where you feel pretty confident. Yeah, so if you actually go out, right... And you're looking good, you're feeling good, you're, there's going to be more of a higher success level because you're already feeling good. And when you feel good, you project that success onto others and you project that positive energy. Right. So if you're compared to if you're not feeling good and you approach, it might be not a great interaction. You might have low energy, you just might not really be into it, and you might fumble a little bit. Compared to if you go out, you're looking good, you're feeling good, everything is good to go. And then you might have a better success rate and more better interaction because you're already feeling great about yourself and how you're looking, how you're feeling. So it makes every interaction more memorable. Right. And it makes their day as well. You know, It makes any girl's day just to have them have an interaction like that because they don't get it very often. They don't get that thrill. Neither do we. You mm-hmm. know, We don't have that like, whoa, this happened. Like, right. And it makes you feel great. right? And you get that from people who are uh, taking care of their lives. You know, they're in control. They're every day. 
they they're trying their best to take care of themselves so when when they project that to other people they don't see that often so they they feel attracted to that it's like oh somebody is happy somebody is taking care of themselves and they want to be a part of it that's how you make friends that's how you make relationships that's how you network you have to first be friends with yourself take care of yourself that way you can show others what you project which is you know taking care of of what you have to do. Exactly. And another great thing is just to go out with friends, right? Find some high value friends, not low value friends. People who can amp you up and who can be of value to you. Because the best mm. friends that you'll ever have are the ones that supply the most value to you and the ones that you supply the most value to them. Right. That's how like great friendships are made. Friends, friends who want to, to change. They're not afraid to change. They, you know, exactly. they, they don't settle. Exactly. You could be on the same path with your friends, just going different routes. Mm -hmm. So like Joe and I, when we're going out, like we can easily hype each other up, right? right. Like I see a girl and I'm just like, hmm, I'm trying to find something. And, he, and he's right there like, yo, mm -hmm. you better fucking do it. Because yeah. I know you want it. I know you want it. Like we, it's, ha it's happened before, right? We were mm -hmm. at, a, at a park this one time and I was like, hmm, I don't know if I'm going to do it, you know? And Joe was like, yes, you are. I was like, shit, you're right. right. You know, right. he was like there to be a, basically like, yo, you're going to do it. And I was like, and then I ended up getting your number anyway, right? So... Because to be a good friend, you have to read between the lines. You know, if if you see your friend looking at a girl for quite a little bit, you know, and you're like, why don't you go for it? Then you just cut through it right there. And then, you know, most likely they'll do it because you call them out. Yeah. And that's what friends do. They're, they're like your subconscious. Exactly. So you just got to notice, you know, what's going on. You want to have that kind of support in your life. And if you don't have that kind of support in your life, you need to go make some new friends. You need to find some high-value right. friends, people who will... Hype will you pull up. you out. Yeah. You know, it's like, all right, you want to get in shape? You keep talking about it? All right, let's go get in shape. Yeah, people who are right. afraid, not afraid to be real with you. So, mm -hmm. you know, they'll encourage you to go make that approach. And you'll be glad they did. Because right. it'll be like a little, kind of like a little little push that you might need. And that can, that can help you. Because you never know. Some days you might not be, like, fully in it. And you might be a little, just a little hesitant. But right. then you got that guy. Scared. Yeah, pretty much scared. Yeah. And then you have your friend, like, like as a reminder, like bro, you know you got to do it. Like you're right, you know what you're right. Mm. You have that positive influence around you, and it will help you. And it will <clears> help <throat> you too. Seeing your friend doing what he wants to do is like, oh, he actually did it, <laughs> you know. And then that it goes back and forward because now you know you get a chance not to do it. So it's just you're building experience together. Exactly. Which is way better than by yourself. And you don't even have. It doesn't have to be just women. It could be anybody. You know, people you find a value. You know, just approaching people and making good conversation. You can mm. make you can make many friends doing it. And you never know who you're going to meet, right? Every day, like someone could add a tremendous amount of value in your life and you would never know it unless you go said hi. And like, let's say you, you, you go out somewhere and you just start talking to some guy about something, right? That guy has like three girlfriends and he has a big social circle and then he introduced you to them and then you just made a whole new network of friends just you because... get you a job. Get you a job, yeah. Just because you made that, just because you were not afraid to go talk to that one person, right. you know? Life is about relationships and networking, you know? Not just like intersexual, but like with like the same sex, like making friends, mm. developing social networks. And that's how we become better, you know? And with the rise of the internet, you're going to see it a lot less. You're going to see less people, in my prediction at least, is you're going to see less people interacting because you don't need to. Right. You have the internet, you have YouTube all day, you just watch videos and waste your life, listen to music, and just stay in your room by yourself and watch porn. So to do what we're suggesting, mm. not only will boost your confidence, but you'll also be more of an outlier as time goes on because let's face it, these uh, younger generations being raised on the internet... It's going to probably get worse. Right. I'm actually, that, that's at least my opinion. And so. One other thing that I do want to add is that sometimes this approach in society can be uh, solved better if you follow your, um, your intuition. You know, it may sound, you know, all magical and everything, but what I'm trying to say is that, you know, if you're out here, you know, reading all these books, getting all this content, that's great. But at the same time, you have to do it your own way, like be original, you have to be yourself, you know, Try. so you have to experiment and you have to um, keep notes, you know, what, what works for you, what doesn't work for you, always follow what works for you, you know, and you may have to change a few things, you know, don't take everything too literal, you know, all the information that you get, don't take it to, to a heart, just use it to open your eyes and then everything else, your actions, that's on you. Exactly, but the biggest thing is just Doing it in general, taking the action will make right. the biggest effect. And once you do it more and more, you realize you're, you'll feel better just from doing it, you know. There's so much mm -hmm. self-gratification that comes with actually taking the action and approaching. Very important. And it's, it's a dying art today, you know. Might as well take advantage of it now at least, you know. While everybody else is being sedated, why, why not go out there and 
be an outlier. Taking the the challenging Take the action initiative. Yeah. Because you can take the easier route. And a lot of people do that. And you know when you're taking the easier route. You know, you tell you tell yourself in the, in your background. But doing the hardest things, you, you hear yourself after doing it, you're like, Oh wow, I just did this. Now that's the real uh reward. So I think you should go for that. With all that said, we're gonna wrap it up here. So if you guys like this kind of content, definitely hit the like button and right. also subscribe as well. And if you would like to, check out these All Gains Apparel mm -hmm. merchandise that we're wearing here. Really comfortable, yeah. actually, especially for the winter. These hoodies really yeah, come in clutch. They do. So they do. with that said, we'll see you guys in the next video. Remember, hit that like button, and we will see you next time.